All right, what's up? Welcome back. Episode 149 of Chaotically Intolerant. We have a big, I guess, first appearance, first video appearance. Dan Campbell, head coach of the Detroit Lions, <laughs> has joined the show. Was that the worst thing of all time when he got the head coaching job for you? So I remember, like, way back in the day when he, he played for the Lions. I, I heard it here and there. You know, he obviously wasn't a huge, huge name at tight end back in the day, but remember hearing murmurings and when he got hired obviously it just kind of exploded but you know i'm a huge fan man who doesn't love dan campbell Leonard city dan campbell it's uh he's fun to watch fun to listen to so absolutely I don't mind if, if you've been t- paying attention to the blogs if you're on our email list you've seen he writes stories he's somewhat of a nerd somewhat of not a nerd somewhat dumb i'm oh, yeah. i'm very much on the dumb side you kind of <laughs> balance actually it's gonna be perfect because michael is is on the full nerd side, uh, nerd I would say side, and you're gonna be right in the middle. We, we might put you in the middle on the on the podcast just because it fits. Right on. <laughs> nice, nice. I'm down. But I'm down. Um, I guess just give us a little about yourself if you know people haven't seen his bio and in, in the uh, on the website. Yeah, yeah. So originally from uh, about an hour outside of Pittsburgh, a uh, small town called Stonebro, a little country town. You know, uh, less than less than a thousand people. Um, relocated to Providence, Rhode Island, which is where I'm at right now. Um, have a background in some some data analytics. Um, so I, it was only natural I paired kind of the data and stat side with my my love of sports, which has been a lifelong thing. I've always been a an absolute sport, sports nerd maniac, you know, unhealthy obsession. <laughs> um, so I kind of just paired those both things, and um, you know, got to put in some some words on a page and. And here we are, writing for uh, Chaotically Intolerant and, and Love Yeah, it. I would say probably our top writer right now. Definitely, definitely hey, the top thanks, writer. Man. I mean, we have no, some, no shade to John or, or uh, Safrino. I, I still don't know how to pronounce his name correctly. Um, no shade to them, but you, I you're definitely pumping. It. You're definitely pumping out the content for us. So if you want to check out his writing. I it's awesome. That. Does a great job. It's also long. You know, when I try and write, sometimes I just get bored. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure people get bored reading the stories too. Know <laughs> I'm, that. I'm giving it a shot. Twenty first century attention span. The, the blog. I was like, I want to have the blog for something, but I was like, I just don't have the time to. I do all this other stuff. Yeah. I was like, I just don't have the time to write. Um, so, hey, I'm glad to contribute. Yeah. And any of the listeners, if you want to write, just reach out to us. Info at chaoticallyintolerant.com. Um, we can maybe maybe do something for you. Um, but it's March Madness. Yeah, join the team. Which my biggest gripe with March Madness is we're starting now. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it, it is that we are well into March. Um, the, the madness is, uh, it's, uh, I've always wondered that too. You know, it's, it's March madness. March rolls around. You're like, all right, where are the games yeah. at? You know, it, it, let's get this thing rolling. I, I need something to fill ever since football stops. I, I need that excitement, that yeah. chaos, all of that, something to fill in there. So, I feel like the, you know, the, the, the conference title, the, the conference tournament should start early March. That's really when the madness starts. Yeah. Because those bit, you know, there's some right. lower teams that are pushing for bids, which I know Tom Izzo was upset about that today. Doesn't want lower teams. Oh to get my bids, god, I saw which that. Is gross. <laughs> come on, man. Yeah, come on. I mean, it, I don't even. I, he's going to end up with like go sit on the bench with like uh, Roy yeah. Williams. You know, if the games if the game's going in a way that you don't appreciate, or don't win a part of, which we're seeing that in the, the college football yeah. game too. I mean, I think it's why Saban with nil and transfers decided okay. You know, the, the, I'm not really appreciating where it's going. I'm going to sit this one out. So, you know, he can he can sit on the sideline um, with those folks and leave everyone else to to you know keep keep the single. I on. actually, so I somewhat had like like Saban got attacked for what he said at Congress, and I was like, you know, some yeah. of it like it, it kind of makes sense. Like I think people are thinking he's just like, mm-hmm. oh, just do away with it all. I don't think that's what he thinks at all. I yeah. think he's like, there needs to be no. some sort of regulation on this because it is getting insane where these kids are oh, ruining yeah. their careers to go and mm-hmm. thinking they're going to get more money and then they don't. And then like we're losing out on really good yeah. football talent because they're going to lower tier schools. No, oh, without a doubt. I mean, they're being taken advantage of in some situations um, for sure. And they, you know, I, I don't think Saban's a guy that's going to, He's going to sit there and just sort of throw some baseless information without thinking it through and, and considering you know all things in the game. Um, but yeah, there's definitely there's definitely some kids being taken advantage of. Mike, uh, meet Dan Campbell, one of our one of our Dan writers. Campbell. 
yeah. for the show. Mike has his own, hey, he has up, his own uh, website, draftamerica.com. Um, pretty cool. Right he does a lot right of different football and baseball stuff mainly, right, Mike? Yeah. Yeah. So but, we're talking tournament tonight is well we yeah we were talking about like nil and stuff like that but uh, we are going to jump into building a bracket because i don't have a bracket so you don't have i'm a gonna let you guys build my bracket <laughs> oh geez i'm gonna defer more to Dan. i mean i know a little <laughs> bit i'm more coming at it from the historic angle of you know the trends what's happened in the past more so than what's actually happened out there on the on the, on the court this year <laughs> I know Purdue is Yeah, you got a couple of football guys, choke. Alex, building this bracket for yeah. you. Purdue, historic choke. I know UConn's right. really, really good. Um, I know somebody picked Florida to, like, have a – kind of a darling run because they're a seven seed. And St. Peter's is there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so, yeah, they're 15 I again. remember them. <laughs> Two years ago. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but let's just let's just jump into it. I think that's the easiest way. Let me share my screen so we can all get a look at it. Um, but again, I, I have a big, big gripe with the fact that March Madness doesn't start March 1st. That's just gross. That's doesn't make any sense. Yeah. False yeah. advertising. I mean, it's still in yeah. March, but you know, we want spring that madness is really what it is. Yeah. All right. True. True. <laughs> UConn Stetson Stetson, a few hours outside of, uh, my home, my hometown, Sarasota, Florida. Um, but I don't. I don't think they're getting this. I think it's pretty safe to say UConn will win this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Without a doubt. Um, FAU Northwestern, the eight and nine. These are usually toss ups, right? I've, I've no clue about this one. You guys can cook on this. That's right, Dan. So I, uh, I kind of like North Northwestern here. They they have a couple big wins this year. They beat they beat Michigan State and I believe Illinois. I mean, and like you said, I mean, these games are, are pretty big tosses from this eight and nine. Um, they're usually pretty competitive. Um, but, you know, I'm just – I'm going to flip Northwestern. I, I don't know if it just sounded good or, or what research I did there, but I'm going to I'm gonna go with Northwestern on here. What do you think? Yeah, Mike? like all the all this expectation now going on FAU after their run last year, and a lot of people felt like USF should have gotten in uh, instead yeah. of FAU. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, give me Northwestern just to just – to, sort of buck that trend of that, you know, all that magic last year. It just FAU hasn't – they haven't lived up to their billing this year. FAU, gorgeous campus. I was there on Thursday. The Hotel, gorgeous yeah. campus. The, nice. state, the Cardinals in uh, Marlin Stadium, literally right across the street from the campus. Everywhere's walkable. Jupiter, great city. Great city. San Diego State and UAB. Well, we're just talking about, you know, another Final Four team from last year, the runner-up. San Diego State and UA, UAB had a nice uh, tournament run. I mean, five twelves are sort of tricky, right? Like in the past, I feel like there's been a lot fewer five twelve upsets in recent years um, than we'd seen for a while. It's I I don't know. I still think San Diego State has the experience. I would lean towards them. I mean, it wouldn't shock me if UAB pulled the upset. I'd probably go SDSU. I agree. I'll yeah I, I agree too. I'll be your guys' tiebreaker if you guys have a discrepancy. Right. Before Auburn at thir at thirteen Yale. Little Ivy League at league action. Yeah. My um so my dad went to Brown. I was actually watching the very end of that game and it was heartbreaking. Brown just could not hit a couple free throws that it needed to put that game away. And Yale was yeah. lucky to survive that. You know, almost losing to Brown. I mean, could they win? Sure. I'm actually in Providence right now. I just walked through Brown oh, cool. yesterday. I've never actually been on the campus. Yeah, yeah. beautiful campus, yes. of course. Uh, historic, prestigious. It's it's a very cool campus oh, to yeah. walk through. Well, I'm I'm mad that they're not in it. So out of just sheer uh, disgust, I'm going to take Auburn. Auburn looks like <laughs> one of those teams that can. I mean, again, remember 2019? They were Final Four team with Bruce Pearl. I I like Auburn. Yeah. I do too. I don't. I don't yeah. trust Ivy League sports whatsoever. So, <laughs> their big nerds. brains, athletic ability. It, it, you know. it throws them yeah, off. Yeah. It throws off their their balance. Whatever you need, like your brain is too big. <laughs> you can't have too big off. of a brain to yeah. be a sports fan or an yeah. athlete. Um, <laughs> yeah. BYU Zach true. Wilson, you know, alum of BYU. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Du Dunes Duquesne Duquesne man. Duquesne. 
Hey, put some put some respect on that name, man. That's Pittsburgh. <laughs> that's that's uh, that's a Pittsburgh. That's a Pittsburgh that makes uh, college. That really makes sense. That it's spelled Duquesne, Duquesne Dukes. Duquesne. Duquesne Dukes. Yeah, I wanted to pick Duquesne so bad here, just straight up bias. Um, but I first I had them when I put in my bracket the first time. Then I looked at it. I'm like, all right, don't don't let your heart choose here. I, I think BYU has that game. Um, yeah, yeah. Duke, I don't know. I, I mean, I'd love to pick Duquesne, but I probably don't. I yeah. Don't know. Probably go don't they like, kind of sound like a, a, they kind they of sound like a team that would go on a run? You know, like you're like, remember Duquesne in 2024? Yeah. Like that, you know, five years down yeah. the line, you're like that run was amazing. But I know I'm so tempted yeah. to pick that. Up there, the George Mason. Yeah. Uh, Illinois Moorhead State. Well, the immature brain wants to pick Moorhead State, but uh, <laughs> Illinois is pretty. They they have a chance to actually go on a run. I think. I think this is actually the the deepest bracket yeah. of the four, um, you know, especially the, the the overall one seed, and then you've got a really good two, three, four. So, um, yeah, I think I think mm-hmm. Illinois. Yeah, same. Really wish I could put, pick Moorhead. Uh, great name, great name. <laughs> Washington State and Drake. Ooh, well, um, actually, my cousin graduated from Drake, so I've actually been on that campus and um, made a nice little run. I don't know. I didn't know Washington State was – good at basketball um i feel like we need to throw an up like a quote-unquote upset in here or a lower seed so i think gotta go drake. let's go drake great drake yep. and josh sad uh sad documentary if anyone here is you know anyone listening hasn't checked it out yet well, the, my, uh, Nickelodeon you know, my, um, quiet my sister on actually dated uh josh for a little bit funny story josh peck yeah josh peck long time oh my ago god in la He's the good was one. He, right? Was he, the not, was he like back. bigger or was he small? No, no, he was, point? he was normal. Like he is now. Um, so <laughs> I never met him though. I never got to meet him, but I know that he's better than the other guy who's gotten into some trouble. Well, I think it's, it's flipped now because I guess Josh, I don't know. I don't want to get into it. I don't know. They're all rumors, but apparently he was more, he was like defending Nickelodeon and all this other side of that stuff. So Drake is now like it's all flipped within like a few days because of this mm. documentary. So I don't I don't really know. Oh, I know man. I watched Drake and Josh. I love Drake and Josh. Great show. I don't know if that was your sure. well Dan maybe that was yours, but Michael I don't know if that was your era or not. Not so much. No. Little little too late. Um, yeah. Iowa State, South Dakota State. Iowa State. By the way, I just want to throw out that Drake made three. Um, they made a Final Four in 1969 and made three straight Elite Eights, 69 through 71. So, oh, and Drake's penis wow. was leaked a few weeks ago, so that is also. <laughs> so, yeah, and you know, you know who went to uh, you know who went to Drake, one of the most infamous players in Ravens history, Billy Cundiff, a kicker who missed the field goal in the 2011 AFC Championship game. He was a Drake product. Ooh, so not a big. Ooh. I mean, I but I like it because you know my cousin went there. So I'm gonna yeah. Let, let's we'll stick with Drake. All right, Iowa State. All right, so. I said history, um, 2001, Iowa State was a two-seed, lost to 15-seeded Hampton. So it's in the back oh. of my mind, but they just dominated. History might repeat think so? Itself. I mean, but they just dominated Houston in the conference. Yeah. Game. So I uh, I'm going to go I think Iowa so. State. But that could be I, one of those I, where they struggle, you know, it, it, it's maybe um, just because, I don't know, maybe just because of history. But I – yeah, I don't know if that's going to be the yeah. 15. If, if there is a 15 this year, I don't know if it's going to be that one. Right. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be South Dakota State. Uh, Iowa State, Brock Purdy, correct? Yeah. That's right. Is that right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, I always get those like Midwest, small Midwest football schools mixed up. Uh, North Carolina and Wagner. No, I'm not. Yeah, that will be North 16 over yeah. the one. They're not it. They're not it. Wagner. Definitely not. They're not doing it. Um, Mississippi State, Michigan State. Now, I will make a hot take that MSU will advance. MSU will advance. Now, which one? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. But yeah. one of one of them will advance. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, Mississippi State this year, they did beat Tennessee um, when they were yep. uh, the fifth-ranked Tennessee. So they do have that win under their belt. Uh, they beat them twice. And they, and beat, they beat Auburn, Auburn right. As well. Um yeah, you know, it's like it's one of those where it's so easy to pick Michigan State because of history and because top, 
you know, Tom Izzo has been yeah. here a zillion times. He's won a championship and he's uh, right. He, yeah. 2000, he won a championship. I don't know though. I'm kind of leaning towards Mississippi state only because Michigan state has been underwhelming this year. And it just looks so obvious, right? It looks like one of those, like, oh, you got to pick Michigan state because yeah. it's Michigan state. I, I would take, I'm going to take Mississippi yeah. state. I agree. And uh, is it, I mean, is it, I, I want him to lose after that bullshit that he said tonight about mid majors, not getting like an automatic. Oh, bid. I didn't even hear that. I just, That's, the last just time I watched today. them, they were playing yeah. Illinois and he, he screamed at a player and I'm like, okay, he's, he's, is he can do that. And then he just kept doing it for the next like five yeah. minutes. It was like, I, I hope <laughs> the kid gets it, you know, just let him be. I mean, I don't yeah. necessarily dislike right. Izzo, but he's, he's, he's a lot. I'm, I can't believe he's still coaching, yeah. honestly, but. Yeah. No, same. He's, he's one of that, part yeah. of that old guard, like Roy Williams he's on, he's and those guys. Yeah. Mississippi Bobby State, Knight I, light. He's I'm cool. He's <laughs> right. Yeah. Ready for a chair or something. That is perfect. Yeah, he's, he's under some stress, and maybe things aren't good at home for Izzo. He's he's flipping out and attacking yeah. mid majors. <laughs> Must be it. St. Mary's and Grand Canyon University, which I could have sworn was an online university. Also, GCU is Gotham City University, not <laughs> not Grand Canyon. I don't know. What the I I actually th- you're right. I actually had to do like a double take on that. I thought it was like University of Phoenix in the tournament. <laughs> Yeah, holy shit! I think I think you. I, I did too. Is it green? I see. Yeah, it's, it's like always like you can university. do it from anywhere. I'm like, I don't see this about yeah. any other college except for University of Phoenix and GCU. Yeah, shock. <laughs> yeah, um, I think St. Mary's was knocked out by UConn last year. I, th- I think that was them. I know they lost in the second round. Um, I don't know with those West Coast schools like um, Grand Canyon for a while was weren't they the last weren't they like the undefeated or they had the best record in the nation for a while and one of the Drew brothers coaches them Bryce Drew Homer Drew Scott Drew one of one of those three guys um, I don't know I kind of feel like Grand Canyon University of Phoenix could do it, <laughs> it, it it's possible are, are they going to be like sending robots and they're going to have their guys like shooting in, in their apartments. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're all virtual. They're just going to be, you know, they're, they're just going to play it on 2k. Gonna, That's it. Mic- <laughs> they're going to microchip in They're They're all remote. The Elon chip. They're going to get them, get them that, whatever that head chip yeah. is. That's what he's going to get. Yeah. All right. Are we sticking with Grand it. Canyon or uh, what are you thinking, Dan? Yeah. I want to go St. Yeah, Mary's. I think. I think I want to go St. Mary's. Five and a half here. point. My my buddy. <laughs> Worse than I have. That's right. Online schools. <laughs> Alabama. What the fuck happened? To Alabama. First off, what's his what's his name? Last year gets in a gunfight and then and then they lose to Florida <laughs> in the first round of the SEC tournament. And and I, I know Alabama played offense. They could not play defense, but I know they could shoot the fucking ball. And Charleston. I don't. I don't even know about Charleston. No clue. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, it's wild just how many like football schools are now just in the tor- tournament, yeah. like just everywhere. You got Clemson, you got Alabama. I mean, it's it's nuts. Yeah, I mean, last year Alabama was a one seed, right? They were they were supposed to do great yeah. things. I think they got knocked out in the sixteen, maybe. Um, could yeah. they be one of those teams where you know they're like really overhyped one year, and then they kind of fly under the radar the next year, and they're better? I feel like they'll probably get out of the first. I would think so. I like Charleston. Yeah. Nice city, but um, I think so too. let's go Alabama. Um, Clemson and New Mexico. So I like New Mexico here. Same here, actually. Yeah. Really? I the, the power I of did. Dabo um, and his praying yeah. can't, can't get them there? <laughs> Clemson lost three of the last four coming in. So that's a big mm. red flag. I think teams that come in like that, that losing streak and – and a, a negative run. I mean, I think it carries in the tournament a lot of time. The momentum can just play huge. Um, so I, I think I like New Mexico. Yeah, I, I like New Mexico too. They're they're coming off the tournament win. And yeah, uh, yeah 6-11, it's not, it's not like a huge leap of faith. So, yeah. Ooh, Baylor and place. that toothpaste company, Colgate. Yeah. I'm a crest guy <laughs> myself, so I say Baylor. Yeah, Baylor. <laughs> You know, I mean, people, it's easy to forget Baylor won the whole thing three years ago. So they're an established. That's group, true. So. That was shit. That, that that was a weird, I feel like that was kind of weird for them to win. 
Right. Well, I don't was, think about them as a basketball school. Yeah, and it was in the bubble. Eyes. It was kind of the Not first either. post uh, post pandemic, but like you know, after twenty twenty was canceled, and I, I mean, I assume March Madness was still hyped that year, but it, it was weird. It had just a weird vibe to it, and so maybe yeah. Baylor didn't get quite the the, the, the glory that they normally would have. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Dayton and Nevada. Steph Curry mm. alma mater. No. Steph Curry, Dayton? Davidson. Davidson. <laughs> oh, da- oh, shit. Davidson. Dayton is John Gruden. John Gruden. <laughs> oh, wow. And they both have red logos, too. It's all, it's all the I, same. Dayton was like a big choker a lot of years when, um, what's his name, was coaching that guy Miller. And, um, but 2020 would have been, they had a great team. They had, uh, what's that guy's name? Obi Top Tippin or Tappin or whatever. Obi Toppin. Yeah. Toppin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they were probably going to be a one seed in 2020. And, um, I don't know if they've been in the tournament since, maybe once, but uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know a lot about them. You got any insight, Dan? I don't. I I know I picked Dayton here um, in my in my bracket. I'm not sure why. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's been a seeding thing. Uh, I'm drawing a blank here. Uh, it, who went to Nevada? They, did Kaepernick mm-hmm. go to Nevada? Kaepernick. Yeah. Kaepernick did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, I think that could be a tiebreaker. We can just like compare yeah. alums. I feel like if Gruden and Kaepernick were to play basketball, Gruden might have them. Gruden is grit. Oh, yeah. Grit and determination. Would. All right. Arizona and Long yeah, Beach. We're going, State. We're going Dayton. I, yeah. Dayton. 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 Yeah. I know Arizona are historic underperformers as well. Mm-hmm. They find a way to lose all the time. Yeah. They're title list since 97, Lute Olsen. Uh, yeah. They're, oh, I mean, I'm almost tempted to pick Long Beach State. I'm not going to, but I just, I don't know if I see Arizona going that deep into the tournament. But here's the weird thing. I looked at the odds. They're actually favored to win their region. So that, you know, history is not dragging that down. Um, They're actually favored over, was it Carolina in in this one? Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. They, didn't they lose? Were they the ones that lost last year? 15 and two in a 15, two game. Was that? Yeah. I feel like they did, or maybe it was here before. And I got to look at it, but yeah, big, big time. Choke art. Yeah, they lost to Princeton. That's what it was, right? Hey, Long Beach State has wins against Michigan and mm. USC. I mean, they're 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 beating some some big market teams here. So I I kind of want to ride with your. I mean, that, that's an upset. That's a, that's, that's, that's a big that's... one. Yeah. Yeah, but they did just they lost to Princeton last year, and you were just talking about oh uh, Ivy League teams. You know, they lost to an Ivy League team last year. Long Beach State. They're not that smart yeah. of a university. Yep. You could beat them. <laughs> I, don't know. I mean, they're from uh, yeah, Long Beach, yeah. like, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think who yeah. went to. Um, I think Long Beach State is actually known more for baseball. Um, yeah, they are. And it they're, is. They have a pretty else. good team, actually. Um, I want to say, yeah, beautiful place that, to play ball. Beautiful place to play yeah, ball. Yeah, a bunch yeah. of a bunch of MLB ball guys ball went State. there. Evan Longoria, Troy Tulowitzki, Jason okay. Giambi. I'm just naming a few guys and. Basketball, I don't yeah. know if I've heard of any of these guys, but no. yeah. Uh, so are we? We're, we're staying with Zona, but we're we're very cautiously optimistic about that one. Yeah, put put them on upset watch, but we're not committing okay. to it. <laughs> let, let, let someone else pick them, and we'll cheer for them if they uh if they end up winning a million from ESPN or yeah, whatever the hell the payout yeah. is. All right, uh, ten, uh, let's go back up here. Houston and Longwood, nice. Oh, it's yeah. a great Morehead name. State and Longwood name. in the finals, but um, Longwood played well. They they were they upset a few teams in their conference tournament, and they just destroyed. Was it like Asheville or something in the finals? I was like Longwood could be good, and I was thinking to myself they were going to be like a twelve or a thirteen because I didn't know a lot about them. And then I'm like, oh, they're a sixteen seed against Houston. That might be that might be asking a bit much. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm confident with Houston here. Uh, I'd love to pick Longwood. Just yeah, based another that, underperforming but... team, Houston. But again, underperforming to lose to Longwood. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, everyone's panicking about Houston a bit though because it's a tough loss yeah. at the end of the year. But uh, I think they recover. I mean, I don't think they're gonna gonna pull a Purdue. No, um, no. and losing the Sweet Sixteen or anything. I, yeah, I think we're safe with Houston. All right, uh, Nebraska and Texas A and M. Nebraska. I, saw, I heard someone say they've never won a tournament game before. That can't be right. That could be huh. true. Surprising. It's a tough one. Another one of those 
toss up eight, nine games. Ne- Nebraska did beat Purdue. Yeah, Nebraska, sure. they kind of, I feel like they kind of played better um, later in the year. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go Nebraska. Let's give it to them, especially if they haven't won a tournament game. It's even more of a reason. Yeah. Hey, hey March Madness is all about rooting yeah. for the underdog. Yeah, you want to see some some good storylines be built. So Absolutely. I'm down, Nebraska. There's no – they've been playing since, like, the 1800s. There's no mm. shot. Okay, yeah. that's that's absolutely not right then. Yeah, that is absolutely <laughs> – whoever said that is a fucking idiot and they're spreading misinformation. Hey, don't let the truth get in the way of a good story. I, I say I say we roll with it. All right, off. never mind. Nebraska <laughs> never won. <laughs> We're giving them their first win. We can <laughs> – uh, fuck it. Put, put like an asterisk. Like, uh, it didn't really count because it was – they won when it was 1824. <laughs> well, the last their last one was 2019. So, asterisk, pre, pre-COVID. Oh, their first pre-COVID win. Yeah, true. It's a different game out it's there true. now. It's true. Very different. The, the stakes have changed. Um, this is the part in my take uh, little bl- uh, bubble here. Wisconsin and James Madison, big cap PFT, and then Duke and Vermont – Hank and Jake, apparently Vermont. I didn't know that, um, but I really like James Madison here. I don't know why. I just love it. Um, so I'm up in um, actually in Brooklyn, not too far from Barclays right now, and I was debating if I should go. the The day session Friday tickets are like only forty five bucks, but the night sessions like two hundred dollars. Oh, yeah. Of course, the day mm-hmm. sessions I think like the the UConn Stetson game, and uh, uh, what's the other one? The FAU Northwestern. Uh, but I'm rooting so hard for James Madison. One of my good buddies goes. I uh, went there, graduated not too long ago. Um, I could see it. Yeah, of course. My dad and his bracket, and he knows nothing. He picked Wisconsin to win it all. So that that's why we should roll with James Madison here for sure. <laughs> J, I agree. JMU. I I think I had them initially. Actually, JMU. And then for whatever reason, I, I flip flop. But you know, I, I'm down to. I'm down mm-hmm. to believe in JMU. Hell yeah. First upset. The very first upset. I think that's the first like big one we've had. Um, all right. Uh, Duke and Vermont. Kyle Filpowski, the biggest actor, trying to land the next movie with Sidney Sweeney, um, who isn't, including me. But I like uh, – let's go Vermont. I, this is – this. I, I, I'm biased. I mean, I'm going to say I'm biased here. I just fucking hate Duke. I, just a bunch of like rich white kids mm-hmm. that are just privileged and assholes. Um, but I think Vermont has a chance. Um, Duke, they're coming in cold too. They've lost a bunch of games coming in. They are lost two games coming in. Um, and they've been up and down all year. I, I think they're a major upset alert. Yeah, I do too. I think they've just, they, again, they're like the Michigan State where they've just really underwhelmed the whole year and it's like they've been yeah. remember duke lost a 215 game um like 10 12 years ago to lehigh and i remember i was yeah. like wow that air of invincibility around duke basketball is really gone and they also were knocked out mm-hmm. i think in 2017 in the second round by south carolina who went on to the final four that year yeah um yeah we've been we've been kind of neglecting those 12 and 13s i I don't know. I I'm I hate Duke, but I kind of What's the if I say Duke, what's the tie break vote here, Alex? I'll probably just go with Vermont. All right. Because par, partially because nice. I don't want to neglect the 13s. Like I feel yeah. like you get a few every year mm-hmm. and we're we're already pretty scarce on on 13 seats left. So I would stay with Vermont. Hey, Vermont has depth. They have a uh, Vermont has I think it's they have like set. They have seven or eight players that play over twenty minutes, so they can they can definitely run with Duke. Plus, like, doesn't it just feel like, it, like Kyle Filipowski? Like, can't you just see them walking off the court, just crying, fucking throwing up? They, they were oh, they were it. complaining about court storming oh. and then throwing things on the court, like literally a few <laughs> days later. It's like, did you not learn a single yep. thing from from what you cry about? So. Yeah, Vermont yeah. just like I just feel it. I will whenever this game is, I'll be watching it. Twenty second. All right, I'll have to yep. remember to turn that on. Um, Texas Tech, NC State. Mm. <laughs> NC State went on this crazy run in the in the ACC tournament. I mean, they they really it looked is. good against UNC in the finals. I mean, five games in five days can wear yeah. on you, but then they get 
four or five days off. Um, I'm leaning towards NC State. Um, I know everything works out in the life of Patrick Mahomes, and he's a Texas Tech guy. Uh, I mean, heck, I was watching the Mavericks game the other day, and he was courtside. I'm like, they're going to hit the winning shot because Mahomes is sitting there, and they yeah. did. Um, so I'm, yep. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous like the Mahomes factor somehow is going to impact this game. Like he's going to be there with Texas Tech gear on. But uh, I don't know. I kind of want to take NC State. I agree. I, Texas Tech, they did Baker Mayfield dirty. They, they mm. have some karma. <laughs> They have some karma coming. Uh, number three, Kentucky and Oakland. Yeah. I mean, Kentucky's uh, like, I don't know. I mean, they, they can't play a lot of defense, but you know they're always dangerous this time of year. They are usually pretty good. Of, I mean, they did lose to, was it St. Peter's? They, they had won where they lost to a 15 seed a couple of years back. Um, yeah, I, I think I remember that. It wasn't St. Was Peter's. Peter's. Yeah. It was St. Peter's, I think. Um, I think you're right. Who was last year then? Who 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 beat Purdue in the first round? That was fairly year. Dickinson. That's what it, I always mix those ones up. Yeah, um, I don't know anything. Isn't Oakland in Michigan? It's not Oakland, California, right? Isn't that? I was going to ask, like, which Oakland is this? There's I so many. Think it, uh, there there actually is a city. It looks like there's a city called Oakland, Michigan. Kentucky. Funny enough, um, so that's ironic, I guess. Um, Little cross town yeah. rivals. Um, the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. Um, they have never won a tournament game. They're, there we go. So there's our narrative. now we have two. There's two now in this brat in, in this uh, region. Yeah, yeah. Um, that they are. I don't know. I, I still. I think I got to go with Kentucky. I agree. Um, I'm trying to figure out where they. Okay, so they're in, they're in Michigan. Yeah, that's right. They're they're based at Oakland University in Auburn Hills, Michigan, where the Pistons used to play. Yeah. Florida and was that Boise, Colorado? Yeah, that game just tipped off. So um, Florida just had yeah. a big injury. They Their center, right, broke his leg. Yeah. I think. Um, mm-hmm. Sometimes teams can just rally around that. Sometimes it just totally derails you. I don't, I don't know. Everyone's making Florida out to be a darling, but they also got beat pretty good in the um, – who was that? Who beat them on Sunday? Championship game? Somebody. Oh, <sighs> Let me let me check that. It was um, uh, it was Auburn. Yeah, that's what Auburn it was. Hammer. Yeah, it was yeah. Auburn. I don't I don't know. I mean, Florida they did beat the Bama and A and M prior and and Georgia prior to that, but I think they beat Bama pretty. I'd like Bama. to see that game tonight. I'd like to see that game tonight. See mm-hmm. who comes out of there. Not that I know a ton about either team, but I'd like to see him see him play. Boise State Broncos, Jake Plummer. It's so going back a while. Yeah. Oh, Jake, Pl- Jake Plummer's cool. the man. I remember oh, yeah. watching Jake Plummer. He's a player. Oh, yeah. He's Isn't doing he? a lot of, like, he's like a mountain man now. And he plays. Uh, he's in mushrooms. Yeah. Lion's mane yeah. mushrooms. I think that's his thing. Mm. Yeah. Um, I was keen on Florida. Now I'm, like, leaning towards them losing in the first round because the injury. <laughs> but what do you think, Dan? Let's go upset here. Uh, whether, whether there's, I don't know who comes out of that game, but. Just keep it interesting. I feel like I feel like building up brackets to to sprinkle enough yeah. upsets in there to keep it interesting, but you know have some some solid ground in, in picking the, mm. the favorites. So eh, let's go upset here. Why not? That breaks my heart, but I don't know. I, I go to USF now, so I'm like fifty fifty. I'm always told I'm supposed to root for who I go to, but I'm like I'm giving you money. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad that I'm giving oh, you money. I should root against you for everything that I have. Yeah. Um, plus, I don't go to a big school anyways. It's not like USF is some major program. Um, Marquette and Western Kentucky. Mm. I think we're safe with Marquette here. I, I really like the Big East this year. It was a super competitive conference um, with a lot of a lot of teams not making it, which was surprising, like Seton Hall, um, you know, Providence. They, they had a chance there possibly at the end. Um I'm big on Big East teams this year. I, I think Marquette. Advances. I feel like they could Western Kentucky could give them a game, um, just because they've been in the tournament before. But yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's go Marquette. All right. Uh, the one. I mean, this has got to be the biggest yeah. upset alert. I think for because uh, because Zach Eady is just, their game plan is just get it to Zach Eady and hope that they foul him. Yeah. Um, Purdue and 
I don't even know who the hell that is. It doesn't matter. It's a, it's a 16 seed. It really doesn't fucking Grambling matter. State is um, one of them. Uh, Montana Grambling State, State, I think, is the other one. Yeah, Grambling State won okay. that game tonight. In, in overtime, yeah. actually, by eight points. I think it was 80-88. Mm. to 88. Good game. It was a good game. So you're saying they have Purdue's no medal? Definitely upset watch. Definitely. I, I'm going to sound the air horn. The yeah, upset air horn feeling hot. for us. Wait. Yeah. That was really long. That was really like unnecessarily long. Hey, hey, you can't put the air horn back in the tube. I say, I say, we go upset here. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. What do you think, Mike? No. No. <laughs> I don't think there's any way it's happened in two hey, years really? in a row. I know. I know everyone wants to pick it. I mean, look, the last time a 16 seed lost in the first round, they came back, won the whole thing the next year. I'm not saying that's going to be Purdue. I mean, it probably won't be, but I, I think they get out of the first round this year i know i know we want to have some fun with it and that they're, they're even there's betting odds on like when will purdue choke what round will the coach be fired if they lose before the sweet 16 but, yeah people really are rooting against purdue i want i want them i'd love to see it happen but i also kind of just deep down think they're gonna kill whoever they play i i, I don't know and see them maybe struggling for a half and then figuring it out but so tie break here I'm I'm gonna go with Purdue. I mean, they're on the watch, but yeah. I I feel like they'll get to like the Sweet Sixteen and and they'll flame out there. Like yeah. that's kind of what it feels like to me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, death taxes and Purdue losing yeah. the Sweet Sixteen. Yeah. All things you can count on every right. single year. Utah State and TCU. Hmm. I don't know. This one I don't know a lot about either team. Another eight nine game. TCU did beat Houston mm. this year. Um, early, early on, earlier on. Okay. But that was actually when Houston was like just rolling. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like, I like TCU not to be confused with that great nineties movie PCU about the politically correct university. Davis <laughs> Spade, And it was uh, yeah, it was a movie. There's a, there's a funny scene in it with John Favreau where he's really stoned and I don't think the whole movie was that good, but anyway, TCU, TCU has, um, a, well, a Ladanian Tomlinson, Couple uh, baseball guys, Jake Arietta, yeah. Matt Carpenter were TCU guys. Yeah, go TCU. I can't believe it, it shocks me he's still in the league. Like I feel like he's fifty year Matt Carpenter. I feel like he's fifty oh, yeah. years old. Yeah, like you, I know he was a rookie yeah. in twenty thirteen, so that's why because he played against the Red Sox in the World Series. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, what is this guy still doing here? Go home, Grandpa. Um, Gonzaga <laughs> McNeese. Mm. How was Gonzaga not got it done? Like. That's that's more the the shocking thing. Over the last like I feel like ten years they've been a powerhouse and they just can't put it together. Yeah. This is a tough one. I, I think I, I don't know. I don't know about this one. Uh yeah, I mean Gonzaga always I don't want to say they always choke. I mean they, they win some games, not like Purdue level, but Yeah. But they're known to choke every once mm-hmm. in a while. I would say sure. they're more of a letdown. Um, they're just they always I let think you down. Is is McNeese one of the top are are they voted like top like upset team to to upset first round? I think they may be like number one. But I, there's some site I don't know if it's, but they they have like the highest percentage. I don't know if people vote on it or if they run some analytics or what. But I think McNeese is is up there. Yeah, it feels like on one hand Gonzaga could go farther this year because they're kind of quieter, and they're lower seed. But on the other hand, it's like they're a lower seed for a reason. They're not as talented as the teams in the past. So what would make this? team any better than those teams so yeah i could go mcneese sure we'll go with mcneese um kansas and samford i don't know enough about samford i don't either i I, kansas has some injuries they they haven't played well lately they're probably on upset alert but mm, yeah i also sick of kansas and they just won the whole thing two years ago and they probably would have won 2020 if they played it they because they had like a crazy winning streak yeah, I know Kansas just lost one of their guys who was out last night, and I know they have another one that's potentially mm-hmm. out. Um, so that I mean, that could sway it, I guess, in Sanford's way. It could. I was debating because I feel like one of the teams, Gonzaga or Kansas, will get upset, but I don't see both. I almost want to flip it, but uh, since we already went McNeese, I guess I'll go Kansas. Yeah, I think I think, mm-hmm. I think you're right there. South Carolina and Oregon. This feels like an Oregon thing because South Carolina hasn't really been in this spot. And then, I don't know, they've, they've lost recently to some good teams. Um, I'm kind of leaning with uh, with Oregon here. 
Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, South Carolina on the women's side, mm-hmm. I mean, they're going to probably win it all. So, you know, right. you can only have one. But the women's <laughs> team know, could be get the guys in the girls, both the men's team. So let's go. Let's go with the Ducks. Yeah. A Creighton and Akron. I like Probably the better Blue Jay yeah. in American sports. Yeah, I like because you said it, Dan, the Big East is really good. Creighton crushed UConn. It's the last game yeah. that UConn will probably lose this year. So I'm I'm thinking Creighton's yeah. got a chance to make a nice run. Yeah, great coaching too. I mean, Greg Greg McDermott's been there for a while. He, he's been in the tournament mm-hmm. a few times. So I think, uh, I think coaching will be big there. They calm this guy's down. Texas and Deion Sanders' biggest rival, Colorado State. I don't know. Colorado State just put the clamps down on Virginia last night. Oh, oh dude, Virginia, they, they just they just need to retire the mm-hmm. men's basketball. They are team. so hard to watch. Oh my god, shut it down. They scored in the they fourteen points total in the first half. Mm-hmm. It's just embarrassing. Like, go home, go home. You're you're demoted to D two. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. Um, Texas was pretty highly ranked earlier in the year. I feel like they're. They could be a team that's better than its seed. I, I'll go Texas. Yeah, they beat they beat Creighton yeah. too earlier on. So they beat our boys Creighton. I think mm-hmm. they can beat uh beat Colorado State, which I don't think didn't look like Colorado State had much competition in that that playing game. Right. Tennessee and St. Peter's. Well, St. Peter's is right. You know, fifteen seed again. It's like, could this be? I mean, because I don't Tennessee like. They're another letdown team. Yeah. I don't know if the St. Peter's team ha- is, is anywhere near like what that other you know, 22 team was, but I don't know. I'm tempted. We haven't taken a 50. We didn't take any 14s, I don't think. Did we? So uh, we haven't taken no, any 16s. I don't think we did. Um, could this be our last chance to throw a, a really low seed in there? Um, I don't know. Tennessee at times looked good this year. Obviously, there are two seeds, so they're they're a talented basketball team. But are they right for the upset? What do you think? I think Tennessee's safe. Um, they did have some up and downs, and they're not the most um, most impressive two seed in the history of the, the yeah. tournament. But I think they're safe in the first round. I, I think they could get upset later yeah, on. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Or mm-hmm. lose later on. All right, UConn. Northwestern, one versus nine. Mm. I mean, I think UConn, based on everything I've heard. Yeah. 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 UConn's, I mean, UConn's just, I mean, they're, they're a good. runaway there's, train there's no... this year, I feel like. Yeah. They they yeah, can have they it, are. the the girls and the boys. They can Women's have a three seed this year. Wouldn't count, yeah. wouldn't count them out, though. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's weird to hear a women's UConn team anywhere like, Bullet maybe like below a two, like yeah. and, and it's a strong yeah. one in their in their bracket too. So, yeah, they ran the table for years. It was like every year I'm like, oh, who won the women's women's yeah. tournament? Oh, you yeah. It wasn't even course, worth watching. It was like, did. all right, well, it doesn't matter yeah. who else is going to make a it was run. Dominated. Yeah. Um, San Diego State and Auburn. Hmm. I don't. I don't see San Diego State making another <laughs> run like they did last year. Like that was their time. Yeah. I'm going They're Auburn. definitely going to flame out. Yeah. Yeah, I think Auburn's safe there. BYU and Illinois. Hmm. I don't know. Illinois, for some reason, I just don't trust Illinois. I could see them losing. I don't know what I'm basing that on. I just I can't don't do. trust them. <laughs> Remember, Illinois made the final. <laughs> it, just, it just sounds right. Yeah, Illinois it had a great right team in 05. Illinois I think it was Darren Williams was on that team, and they went to the championship game. Yep. And they were almost undefeated. They lost in like a buzzer be- beater on the final regular season game to like Ohio State or something. Then they. Mm-hmm. Almost won the tournament and lost to UNC. I'm gonna, yeah, let's go BYU. Bring them young. Let's give it to Mormons. them. You going with them too, Dan? BYU. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Drake and Iowa State. Drake also was paralyzed from the waist down in the show Degrassi. On That's Nicole. right. This is, and this is a <laughs> battle of Iowa. So right, Iowa is Iowa State's the bigger school in the state of Iowa. Uh, David versus Goliath. <laughs> What do you think? I think if Iowa State avoids that first round upset, they become more dangerous. Rick Pitino always used to say that. You know, that first too. round is where teams are vulnerable, but a lot of times they kind of breathe a little bit. Yeah. Get their footing. Nerves are a little, yeah. little calm. Yeah, I feel I like agree. it's pretty rare you see Iowa. the big upset in in the round of thirty two. Like some like a low, you know, a high seed mm. losing to the low seed. Yeah. Um North Carolina, Mississippi State. Mississippi State. I think I still like yeah. Carolina here. Um, I mean, they, they've, they've played pretty well this year they have some, they have some good, 
get some good players that I think they can rely on. R.J. Davis is an insanely talented. I like UNC. Sorry yeah, to Brandon I'll go with UNC Walker. There. Apologize to Brandon Walker for for Mississippi State losing. Um, St. Mary's and Alabama. Yeah, a tough one. Bama. I don't know. I feel like Bama. Like they could be boom or bust. Like they could easily lose first round, or they could go on a big run. Kind of leaning towards Bama here. I'm so conflicted on this one because I don't think either have any, that, that many huge wins this year. I, I feel like I just forgot about both of them this year because nothing's been really overwhelming mm-hmm. from either. What are you thinking, Alex? What's your what's your thought? <laughs> uh, well, I don't like Alabama football wise. I guess we can talk alums. Um, I have no clue about St. Mary's alums. I don't, I don't even I don't even know who the <laughs> fuck went there. I, I feel like I don't know why. I feel like Rick Pitino should be coaching St. Mary's right now. It just feels right <laughs> to me. I, I want to see the white suit too. He, he brought it back out this year, yep. which was awesome. It was just so white. It was oh. blinding. It just it it's college basketball to a T. Is oh, Rick yeah. Pitino in the white suit? Um, I guess Alabama. That that sounds that sounds right to me. <laughs> Alabama beating St. Mary's. Yeah. Let's go, Bama. All right. Um, <laughs> roll, roll Tide. Roll Tide. Uh, New, Mexico's, or New Mexico and Baylor. Hmm. I kind of want to root for New yeah, Mexico. They're one of my I, – I don't know why, but I'm just I'm romanticizing New Mexico. Walter White. Baylor's White. nothing special this year. I don't think they're anything. No. I don't think so either. Let's go New Mexico. All right. Big ups. That's a big upset. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's our biggest upset. We need in a double digit so in the Sweet 16. Yeah. Um, yep. Dayton and Arizona. Is this where Arizona chokes. <laughs> yeah. Wait, oh, now it's now it's upset upset air horn time. Yeah. I want to go Dayton here. <laughs> that air horn kills me. <laughs> I'll go Dayton too. I, I I think I feel like we kind of have to here. We have to get some high seeds in there. You got yeah. you got to push them out a little bit. Yeah, I've got um, a little bit of a gamble yep. here. Texas and diversify the bracket a little. Texas bit. and Tennessee. I could see uh, Texas pulling this one, but I don't know. Again, if Tennessee survives St. Peter's, does that just kind of give them a little more of a? Are we really going to have two Gosh. two seeds lose yeah. in round two? Uh, this is a tough one. I kind I don't know though. I kind of like Texas to be honest with you. No, Kevin Durant. Yeah. Peyton Manning, Tennessee. Peyton Manning's better. Just ultimately better. If we're just going on alum. And uh, what's agree. his name? Played for the Rockies. Um, Todd Helton, yeah. yeah. Yep, Todd Helton. Hall of too. Famer. Yeah. Texas, I don't know. Vince Young? Who else? Did Bruce they have a big Holmes, wide receiver Ricky coming Williams, out of there? I think, yeah. Um, Roy, one of the Roy Williams is Texas. Yeah. Uh, let's go Let's go Texas, I guess. It's, is that where we're leaning? All right. Let's go Texas, yeah. Uh, Oregon and Creighton. Creighton. I, I, I think yeah. Creighton makes a run. I, I, do I really like Creighton this year. I do too. I think that, that win over UConn, even though they followed that up by losing to St. John's, I think they're... <laughs> yeah. They're, they're, they gave it all they yeah, had. They, they, they're, 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 they're out of gas. You know. yeah. Uh, yeah. McNeese and Kansas. Probably still have to go with Kansas in the second round. Yeah. Also a team... It's been fun. It's been fun, McNeese, but eh, I don't think they get past yeah. Kansas. Purdue and TCU. Well, if you're looking, uh, this yeah. where they, this where they blow it. Um, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say Purdue. I think. Yeah, I I I, I agree with like if you make a pass that first round, you get your yeah. footing a little bit. I I think they might get their footing and then then blow it next round. I think I think that might be what happens. Boise, Colorado versus Marquette. Probably Marquette. Yeah, another yeah. Big East. Uh, NC State and Kentucky. Ooh, see, Kentucky scares me because they. I feel like if if they get through the first round, they're going to pick up steam. I don't know. They score a lot of points. They give up a lot of points. I don't know if NC State can keep up with them. Yeah. I'm going Kentucky there. I agree. James Madison and Vermont PFT versus Jake Marsh. I personally like JMU. JMU. They shoot the three really well. Yeah. Yeah. JMU. And Houston and Nebraska. Nebraska looking for their second, for their second overall tournament win. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Real Cinderella. Uh, we, we've Don't had all the other one seeds advanced to this point, right? We had Purdue, UNC, and UConn. Could this be one that loses in yep. the second round? 
We usually don't get them all in the Sweet 16. But, you know, I don't know. Houston is, is a really good team. I, I'd probably They're I would take Houston. I would still take Houston. Yeah. All right. Um, UConn and Auburn. It'll be a good game. I definitely think Auburn's capable of doing it, but – I mean, unless UConn hits, gets hit with a, like a couple injuries or something, it, they're going to be hard to stop at least yeah. until the Elite Eight or Final Four. So I'm, I'm going UConn. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think, I think Auburn mm. makes them sweat a little bit, but UConn, I think, has it, yeah. has it in the bag. BYU and Iowa State. Ooh, I don't know. I mean, there's a part of me that feels like Iowa State could win that region for sure, but they could easily lose to BYU, right? Hmm. I'm torn on that one. I don't know. I am too. I feel like BYU and UConn have similar colors. It'd be like an ugly color scheme game if they played. Like the dark blue and yeah. white. It would just be, we need like the, the crimson or whatever color Iowa State's bringing. BYU yeah. plays True. on the on the uh, blue field, right? In football? Uh, Boise State. Boise oh, State. I thought BYU did oh, that too. So maybe, maybe, maybe they State do also, today. yeah. Maybe they do. Maybe they, I don't think uh, they do. Copying people. <laughs> Damn Mormons. Yeah. Get get get, get to some for yourself, Mormons. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, Jesus. Yeah. I think. Yeah, Jesus. Or, Mormons believe in Jesus, oh, right? I thought they. I thought they liked John Smith. I thought that was that was their guy. Maybe. Yeah. Well, they need to start praying yeah. to John Smith because I don't think they're they're getting past Iowa State. Iowa State. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so we're going chalk yeah. there in that in that region. Um, North Carolina and Alabama. See, I don't. I'm not that sold that Carolina's that good. Like they're good, but I, I think if Bama gets to this point, I think Bama can. I don't know. I, I, I think they're kind of an interesting team. Like I said, like last year being that one seed and kind of flopping, and I don't know. If you said they've had some off court drama this year, but maybe this is the time they put it together. You know, I don't know. I'm leaning towards Bama there. No, I, I agree. Thank you, right there. Ugly, ugly jersey matchup here. Uh, yeah. Well, with Alabama and whoever wins New Mexico and Dayton. We riding this Lobo train a little more? Or? I say, uh, that's right. right. That's I right. mean, they're play, at this part. point, they're playing Dayton. They've already beaten Clemson and Baylor, two very established, well, football yeah. school, uh, Clemson. But um, yeah, why not? A flyer on the Lobos. No pun intended. All right. Creighton and okay. Texas. Okay, so. I'm a, I am big on Creighton, but I, I do realize that they're coming into this tournament rusty, right? Because they lost to Providence in the first round of that of the Big East tournament. Yep. Um, so I was thinking about that. Like, they should get by Akron, and I think they would beat Oregon. I don't know. See, Texas also last year. Again, like, I don't know what that means of last year, if, that, if there is a correlation or not. Um, so these things have a way of evening out. Texas, though, last year got to, what, the Elite Eight? They lost, didn't they lose to Miami in the in the Elite Eight? They were two seed. They were kind of like an under the radar two seed, but then they were very close to making the Final Four. I don't know. Yeah. I'm I, uh, I want to pick Creighton because we're on we're all on Creighton. Yeah, I I like Creighton. Um, you know, like I said, I like that Big East. I think it was competitive. I mean, if you're losing to Providence, you're uh, that's it's a good point there. But I think that just everyone in that conference was was pretty competent. We're going Creighton. We're going Creighton. All right. Um, right Purdue and Kansas. Sweet, sweet Purdue. Uh, oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, oh, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> the Grim Reaper's right there. He's there with those axes. Does he, does he finish them off? Every Kansas, though, like, again, you wonder about the injuries, but they're very talented. They were playing very well for a good part of the season. Mm-hmm. Um but like I just feel like each ra- for especially for a team like Purdue, each round that they advance, the more confident they're going to really feel. It's not going to be like oh, but now we have yeah. to win the thirty-two. Now we have to win the sweet. Like for them, I think just getting out of the first round is going to be a big deal. And then if they get out of the second round, it's like okay, oh yeah, yeah. I, I'm actually leaning towards Purdue here. Yeah, Purdue. Purdue. Wow, they mm-hmm. finally get that little bugaboo off. <laughs> Kentucky and Marquette. Ooh, that's a that's a good one. To be a good game if it gets there. This thing's been about Kentucky's defense this year. How terrible they've been, but they're always like they're so loaded with talent and all apart. They can score. I mean, they're they're just a. I'm kind of leaning towards Kentucky. Yeah, I agree with that. Houston and JMU. 
this is like the this Ooh. is like the ugly duckling that somehow found his way. Yeah, I, I can't imagine JMU would even put up a fight here. I think it would be too much. I think it'd be a lot to ask because you know you, the first two rounds it's within a couple of days, and then you have that break, and then you have to kind of recreate that momentum. And you're playing a probably the best team you faced all year. I, I would go Houston here. Yeah, okay, so. UConn. Iowa State, one, two. I think UConn's. I mean, they're just so, yeah. so good this year. I think they're better than they were, maybe better than they were last year. And to do it what when, when you have I expectations, that. that's even more impressive. And, like, they got that one bad loss out of their system. Creighton hammered them last month. And uh, just mm-hmm. – the thing is, in their games, too, they've been really just – they really paced themselves for the second half. Like they know how to really finish games. Um, yeah. I mean, think about that title game last year. Like, they were destroying San Diego State, and then out of nowhere it got to, like, a five-point game with a few minutes left. And there was absolutely – people were like, oh, my yeah. God, could they do – and then they won by 17 points. It's like they yeah. just they <laughs> look, looked away, and you're like, oh, what, yeah. like, what, like, what happened? This is a game. The Aztecs and thought just... that they had a chance, and, and it wasn't even close by the end. So I'm going UConn. Yeah. Alabama, New Mexico. I, th- I think the Lobos run out of gas. Yeah. I, I think he might be right there. Right. And <laughs> Purdue and Creighton. I mean, Purdue can't survive here, can this is This is where I have them. This is where I have them going. <laughs> yeah, let's go with Creighton if they get to this point. They're rested at this point, and they haven't won a game. They haven't won a game in a little bit, but let's if we're, if we're riding that train, sure. Houston, Kentucky. Ooh, boy, Houston. Good color matchup. Good logo matchup. Look at that. Yeah, UH, UK. Yeah. Luna Lajuan against Antoine Walker. I don't know. Uh, hmm. I think I've Houston this here. Is t- this is tough because, like, Houston is, again, they're that underwhelming team. They did, I know they got to the Final Four. Wait, was that 2021, right? That was the, the bubble tournament. Um, yeah. I think they lost to Baylor. They got hammered by Baylor. So they could- I think they control the boards. I mean, I, that Kentucky defense and the rebound. Yeah, I think at some point abysmal. Kentucky's defense has to catch up to it. It just, it just uh, I think you got to go yeah. Houston here. I think you got to have a, two one seeds in the final four. So we got a one, a one, a three, and a four. Okay. Yeah. UConn, Alabama. Uh, UConn's just <laughs> having a hard, having a hard so time so picking good. against them here. Again, you don't know that possible injuries, but yeah, I don't see. Yeah. I don't see Nate Oates. That's like this is like a battle of hot-headed coaches, right? He's like a like a like, right. He's got a little bit of that temperament, and Dan Hurley is. Just, I mean, that guy's yep. insane. He's like a drunken college kid coaching. He he drinks he drinks much. Um, hmm. I I don't know if Creighton's good enough to get past Houston. I think they have I, a great I run. Too. Yeah, I think I think Houston. I would I would say Houston's gonna get a spot in the title game honestly yeah. all right who is winning the national title i i mean it feels like uconn is just destined to do it morehead state they're winning it i don't know what yeah you're of course um, morehead versus what longwood, longwood university yeah oral roberts yeah. did not make an appearance this year but remember oral roberts was a 15 seed that that went for i mean you got Brigham young I and mean, we this is some good universities in I this think, i think Colgate, I, I want to say Colgate and Oral Roberts won tournament games in the same year. <laughs> oh. It was like a, everyone was like, oh, it's the, it's the tooth year. Yeah, it's a battle of mouths. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I'd love to see that battle. There has to be like a, like a March Madness of like best names, like college names, right? That has to be oh, up yeah. there somewhere. Mascot, best mascot. Yeah. We'll, we'll do a bracket for that. That, that would nice. be, yeah. But no, I, I mean, I think we go UConn. Uh, they're just just so so good, so dominant. I don't I don't know if anyone's going to beat them. Yeah, I'm I'm with you there. And we got to give up total points. I mean, the last year I think the final was like I want to say it was like seventy six fifty nine or something, which would be one thirty five. Are they anywhere in like? I feel like a lot of times they kind of disappoint. Yeah, yeah. Well, that one year yeah. UConn and Butler, it was like. 21 to 18 at halftime. And I think the final was like 53 to 41. I mean, they were under a hundred points, whatever it was that, that 2011 championship game. I remember that being such a dud. And I think one year, was it, what was your Duke that Hayward almost hit that half court shot? I think that was the year before that. And that was like in the like low fifties or something that game. And that was Butler also. Butler made it back to back years and lost. 
So Ooh, UConn that. scored 72 last year. 72. Um, that was close. What did I San Diego State only had 59. Was that the, that was the final? Oh, 76-59. That was right. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, 135. I mean, yeah, I would say, I'm going to say, but UConn and Houston can probably both score. Maybe on the 140s. Somewhere in the 140s, I'm good with. 145. 145. We'll say that. that sounds good. Yeah. I think that's reasonable. I'll enter, submit my bracket. Oh, son of a bitch. No, oh, they gotcha. No, I'll, getting... I'll, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I'll just make <laughs> sure to keep this. All right. Well, congrats to the UConn Huskies on winning the chaotically intolerant NCAA title. That's the most valuable title that you can win. That's, um, that's what matters. More valuable. Too. Yeah, more valuable than the NIT, more valuable than what, the CBT? Is that the other one? Um, more valuable than the NCAA tournament. This is the, this is the one that matters. Um, so I guess I'll just stop sharing the screen um i think that's it i think we'll just wrap up here um i guess look for more brackets in the coming months we'll probably do something else but mike was talking about a uh maybe an nhl bracket in april right april is when the playoffs start. yeah i think yeah i think nhl is kind of a fun one yeah it's like mid-april the nba just doesn't count to me they're they're so i mean like uh, uh, the playoff games are fun to watch but the playoffs are like it's chalk. It's it's always chalk. Um, but make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Um, go follow Dan on Threads and on. Do you post anything on Instagram or no? You're private. Uh, yeah, private. Uh, threads very um, active on Threads. All sorts. Yeah, of go weird. follow Terrible Threads. Uh, go check out Draft America again. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and we will see you guys on Monday.